Okay. Talk about the catering scenario. So unfortunately, I cannot share this document. So unfortunately, it is it is uh, right right protected. So I can't share. You guys. Some of the files are uh, protected. So that's why. So unfortunately, uh, some of the files you cannot, uh, cannot get the files because it's protected from the system. That is, it's only for internal, that's unfortunate. So just bear with me as I look for document that uh, can be shared with you guys. Just give me a minute as I look at the document that you guys can be able to see from your side. It's because of right issues. Okay, so I think this one you can see. So we'll talk about the display and control promotion. That is the products that we offer as display and control. So we'll talk about monitors, uh, digital signage. So we'll focus more on digital signage at this side. Then 
also about about a uh, uh, matrix uh, decoder and, and keyboard etc so we uh, for those of us who don't know we we provide a tv so we have smart tvs and uh, normal analog tv and uh, also digital TV series. So we have TV series ranging from uh, 43 inches, 32 inches up to from 24, even up to 55 for the TV cases. Then we have the industrial best, best series. So that is the ultra series. So in case you, you have a client that needs a display product or something like that, we have TVs for the same. So the pricing are, are quite cheap considering it's an industri industrial scale, scale television, meaning it can run it can withstand uh, in terms of power, it's like more, more of durable compared to other TV and uh, can stream of up to 72,000 hours. And uh, the pricing is a bit cheap, about $900 or from, that is 900 from, that is 55 inches. So considering something like that, I'm not sure of the price. And also the normal monitors for the displays. So we have industrial, normal TV, et cetera. Um, also, just like a normal TV, maybe a video wall products. We, talk, we have talked about the video wall products. And uh, so if you have, so mostly video, video wall project, products are uh, project-based. And uh, if, you need a, if you need a demonstration, or maybe you have a client that needs a quotation or the same, you just contact us or contact me so that I can link you with the necessary salesperson that will be able to create a quotation on the same for your site. And our video is, the design is, is very good. So we've talked about the, the daisy chain that technology is applied. So some of these are a repetition of the same. Um, so uh, we did not talk about LED. So we have different kinds of display, LCD and LED. So, uh, LED display are, uh, are, are, are uh, those, those, those outdoor screens that uh, if you come close to it, you'll not see the image clear, but if you are a bit a distance away, you'll be able to see an image that very clear and it's very nice. So we have LED displays that is for the outdoors and uh, indoors, we provide for the same. And uh, so from different sizing also, so different sizes, and also the advantage of LED displays, we don't, they're not manufactured in terms of uh, maybe 55 inches like LCD displays. You can customize it, you can expand it based on how you want. So LED displays are, are quite, uh, quite, quite customizable. So if you have a, a corner or maybe a curvature wall, you can install an LED display based on that installation scenario. So I'm not going to dive into the core uh, functionalities, including the encapsulation cost, contrast function. I'm not going to talk about that. It's just good for you guys to understand that we have LED displays for outdoor scenarios. That will be for advertisement. You need to you can install these LED displays. So typical applications for LED displays include airports, uh, stores, shopping malls, cinemas, and out, outdoor case scenarios. So for commercial shopping center, so you can see such, such an example of LED display. So more, more, much of these are more of cell, 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 cell side oriented. And also because you can see even the design at the back. So not, no need for you to fabricate, uh, fabricate a metal to, to conceal the back side. You can have this such kind of design. Also applications, other applications include uh, stadiums. They have application for control centers, uh, stage, stage show, exhibitions, et cetera, et cetera, even TV stations. Now we talk about the digital signage that is the advertisements, which was supposed to be done today. So a digital signage is basically a, a, like an intelligent screen. So just not, not like a normal screen, 
but uh, a screen that will be enable you to customize programs into that product. So we have uh, different sizes, even up to 55 inches and a smaller ones up to 22 inches. And uh, so how, 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 how can a, a, a digital signage be used in advertisement? So a typical scenario where you have a, a hotel and you want to display maybe offers, you want to display maybe products that you are offering today as a hotel in, in a video or a picture format, or maybe a link, so, or maybe graphics. So you can, uh, you can create those graphics in your computer, have, have the files sent to the device and display the, the advertisement you want on the device. So you can have even multiple, multiple, uh, multiple devices. So you can have, uh, if you're operating maybe a chain of stores or chain of businesses, including hotels, restaurants, et cetera, you can, have, you can install the screens in those places, use them for advertisement, use them for display information. If you are in an apartment scenario, you can use these screens for maybe creating memos. We have a platform called CIRS. CRS is a platform that is used to manage those devices. You can turn off the device. You can say, I want this screen to, 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 to dis display this information from this time to this time. So you get quite a lot of customization from, this, from the platform in managing of the devices. And the advantage is if you buy the device, the platform uh, supports up to even uh, 22 products for free. So you have uh, 22 is quite a number. So if you, if you need more devices now, if you have more devices, you need to purchase license, which is a bit cheaper. So that's the how a uh, digital signature works. Also, apart from, uh, apart from uh, these screens here for digital signature, so that this one is a digital signature that comes in one. So the program is installed in that computer for managing those programs. It's just there in that computer. So maybe you have a case scenario. You have a customer who already has screens. So just like normal screens. And you want to use those screens as advertisement screens. So we have we have this small product here. Uh, it's called a distributed distributed Android uh, media play box. So this this product here at the bottom. So this product will uh, will make a normal screen operation to appear as a advertisement screen. So the way the way this one will function like. Uh, you send programs here, you, you, you turn off the device, et cetera, et cetera. Now this one will do that functionality, will create that functionality to that device. So I hope that is clear. And uh, also in terms of digital signage, we have uh, other products, including floor standing. So we have products like this that you typically find them in malls. So it, they're mostly used for information desk. So you have such and such, you have outdoor scenario 43 inches, and others uh, in different de de design. So yeah, I hope it's clear. Maybe we just talk about uh, this example. So this one is a wall mounted. So you just mount the screen on a wall, and you can you can mount it either in portrait or landscape. So meaning you can you can tilt the screen to stand or to appear as a rectangle. Sorry. To appear in okay, you understand the portrait and, and landscape. So if you if you install them in pillars, you can have them installed in portrait mode. So in walls, you can, so depending on various scenarios. So a good example is uh, is a uh, Sarit Center. So if you have if you have time, maybe you can go to Sarit Center in Kenya. There's, we have screens installed there uh, near uh, hotels. That sorry, near a food supermarket. You can see such screens. For that case, you can see even the LED screens and even the outdoor LED screens. So the CRS platform I was talking about is has this icon. So this is the CRS platform that is used to manage this device. Advantage also you can do local man. So if you don't, if you if you cannot, if you don't want to do remote management, you can also do local management. It comes with good flexibility for the same. Um, so uh, the CRS platform looks something like this. So this is the platform that you typically have to interact with while doing the advertisement. 
So you can see the platform is like this. And it's, we have different languages. This is just an example of a Chinese language. So you may be able to know how many devices, the rate of which at which the devices are online, how many are online, how many are displaying programs, programs at which time. You get, you, you get also to know which this screen, what program is it displaying at this particular time. Advantage also you have now the MPS for the mobile phone. At the top of your hand, you have everything at your hand and you can do management for everything from your mobile phone. So you can see the MPS uh, solution. So you have a management center, then you have the play box or maybe a digital signage. So you can see in this scenario, if you don't have a, if you don't have a, if you don't have a digital signage, you can use a, a play box to use a normal monitor and use it as a digital signature. So this one will create that functionality. So you can do that on video walls, you can do on a small screen. So video with big screens, full color LED display, etc. Okay, so next applications, so supermarkets. So, so it's, it's now upon you to, to, to use this information to create business opportunities for your company or for yourself. So you can approach supermarkets and give them solutions for, for those pain, pain problem, uh, problem advertisements. So you can give them such a solution from our side in chain stores, in office building, maybe for informations. And you can also dis install these devices in lifts. So if you are a, a company doing advertisement, it's a very good chance to use this one. So people are moving away from those those paperwork and going to this such kind of advertisement product. So next about uh, interactive uh, display series. So we have talked about this. Uh, if you need these products, so most of these products are project based and uh, for you, for us to, 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 to provide you, you with such and such, we have to engage more and understand you well your product so that at the end of the day, you remain satisfied and also with what with which work we have done. So interactive displays. Uh, so let me talk about a bit about uh, control products. So the control products uh, work work with uh, display products. Like you have screens, you need to control how you are sending the information there. So not uh, uh, apart from the digital signature. So this in comes in terms of video walls. So video walls need control products. And uh, uh, control products, we have different control products. We have matrix decoders and keyboards. So uh, what a matrix is, so you have a video wall of maybe five, sorry, about six screens. So you're having three by two configuration. And you need to be able to manipulate all those screens as one, do those customization, maybe display something from this point to this point. Basically like operating that screen, manipulating it in uh, any way you want. So a matrix comes in handy for such case. So a matrix will be used to do such kind of, such kind of uh, manipulation for the display products. A decoder on the other hand works the same way like a matrix. However, the manipulation where you'd have, you'd have the screens operators one will be limited from this decoder. So a decoder is, uh, for example, maybe we talk about this, uh, you might have uh, two, 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 four screens, that is uh, 55 inches, creating a video wall for your small, maybe a medium sized organization. So a matrix will connect HDMI ports of the, each of those screens into one. So each HDMI come to that NVD and then can now send information from NVD to, to the screen. So it's more like the matrix, but more functionalities in the matrix compared to the decoder. A network keyboard on the other hand can also do function of a decoder, but um, it has the advantage of maybe doing PTZ control functions. Uh, you can add the cameras to the network keyboard, then send those cameras from the network keyboard to a video. So you have, four screens connected to the network keyboard because it has outputs. Now you can be able to send information from there. 
So and also we have different kinds of network keyboard products. So uh, maybe key features for the controllers, options like zooming, virtual LED, etc. Yeah, 8K real, real time monitoring. A 4K signal collection and, and encoding, etc. So you can see very good display display scenarios. So the keyboard I was talking about is this. So you can see you have one, two, three, four. Four, four HDMI outputs and connect to four screens. That is the video aspect of this keyboard. So like this guy, this guy is using a, a PTZ network keyboard. You can see the HDMI connections. So you can see the HDMI connections at this point here connecting to the screens. Yeah. Okay, so it's good for such case you can zoom, zoom, a, zoom a camera, etc. very fast. So uh, while this other keyboard can be used with the NVD, so you can see the network keyboard, the analog one. NVD for controlling the PTZ and cameras. So success stories for the case, we have quite a number for outdoor LED screens. So you can see we have 55 inches, 330 pieces, pieces in Honda 2016, very, very, very big display. Other forms of display, um, just here. So these are the, how the products for the LED look like. So other success stories in uh, hotels and restaurants. So this, 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 this other type of display, which is a transparent a display. So a transparent display, a very good display in Australia. And uh, transparent LED also in New Zealand. Also others in Hong Kong. Okay, so that's all regarding uh, the display for products for today. So unless there's a question regarding that, I think I'm done for the day. So you can, if you have a question, maybe something that you need to, to inquire about, maybe something to add on, you can unmute yourself and uh, interact with yourself. So we'll be following the schedule. So I think our next, uh, next Zoom training will be, Oh, from that date, let me check. So next week we'll be having other Zoom trainings. So on ninth, we have another, another Zoom training. And, uh, so we'll do a training on nine, and we'll be doing training on uh, network keyboard. So we'll do, we'll cover theory about matrix, then keyboard will talk about the, talk about the decoders, the interface. So this one will be a bit practical. So if there's no question, I think you're going to hand our today's training. So thank you for those who participated. Uh, thank you. Yes, there's a question. Someone is talking. No, no, there's no, there's no question. I'm just thanking you. Okay, okay. So I think you can meet online. Okay. So if you need quotation on uh, display product, advertisement pins, etc., feel free to contact me.
Well, now we'll I'll, I'll, I'll check the same thing they prepare for the Yes, uh, Fitzu Mabe. So the, we can directly contact you. Yes, you can contact me. I'll, 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 I'll link you up with the, the salesperson. They will help you. Okay. Yes, I, I might not handle you directly, but someone will definitely help you from our side. Okay. Okay, so we have another training in the afternoon. The afternoon training is about also a bit a bit of more practical. So the advantage of coming to training in our offices is that you get to have the hands-on products interaction directly. Okay, so have a nice day and uh, see you in the next day. Thank you for those of us who joined. So uh, Bennett is asking if I can share the material. So unfortunately, some of most of these documents that I'm sharing with you is a bit restricted, but there are materials out there in our website. So let me share with you, let me just show you. So if you go to Dahua Security, if you go to Solutions Now, these are the products that you guys can access and are also a bit of products that you can, you can get from our site. So these are the solutions that you can find for that case. But if you have a client and needs a demonstration on the same, you can contact me or we can organize for the same regarding the timings that I set for free training, that is custom trainings. Okay, that's all. So have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. See you, see you in the next training. Thank you.